how are you? Welcome back to my channel. So I have decided to address a few things in this video. I get asked often about um, how I handle flexible dieting on the weekends, counting macros. Um, do I always hit my macros? Um, do I find it difficult? Uh, what happens if I overeat on the weekend? How do I make up for that on Monday? Um, and that sort of thing. So, um, I mean, I'm human, just the same as anybody else. So I figure I would sort of tell you some of the things I do, some of the things I no longer do, and just some of the things I would encourage you to think about. So, oh, but before I start, I got my nose pierced this past week, so I'm just throwing that out there. So that's what that is. Um, also, in future videos, I guess I probably wouldn't upload them, but if you ever see anything in my nose, okay, 95% certain that it's actually my piercing because um, it's a little corkscrew, so just throwing that out there. Okay, so about eating and weekends and mark macros and whatnot. So this isn't a binging and purging uh, video, nothing like that. This is just about staying on track on the weekends. So this past weekend, I was away uh, for a bachelorette. And I only loosely counted my macros, tracked my macros, um, because that was my choice. Now, I am not starting this video to say you have free days. That is not it. Because technically, the idea and what I believe very firmly with flexible dieting is that your plan is flexible so that you can enjoy time away with your friends. You just plan in how to meet your, your dietary needs. I am currently in a pretty awesome surplus so I actually have a decent amount of flexibility. However, I did not hit my uh, protein macros this weekend. Um, I know that. I could have taken, um, I probably could have prepped tofu in advance and stored in the fridge there. Um, I didn't. And I could have taken protein shakes to make to hit my protein. I also didn't do that. So the fat and the carbs I came pretty close to. Um, but my protein, I did not, and I know that, and I knew that going into that. Um, for most people, uh, I would recommend that you don't make a habit of um, not hitting your macros on the weekend because it's easy to um, just kind of then on Monday be like, well, you know, I'm not going to do whatever. I'm not, should I hit it? Should I not? Um, I'm finishing up my bulk. I'm starting competition prep in less than two weeks now. And uh, no excuses because I don't feel restricted at all in my eating. So it wasn't that I ate more than I should have. It was just um, I didn't hit my protein and I didn't make the best nutritional choices this week. So um, I didn't go to the store and think, yep, I'm definitely eating all the cucumbers. No, I had fries and pizza. And I stayed within my carbs and mm, mostly close to my fat. Um, I drank. Definitely. Um, and these are things that I don't do very often at all. Um, I mean, I have, I, have, I have treats, I have fries or I have pizza, but not the same. Like Saturday and Sunday, I just, yeah, you know, I don't even know how many veggies I would have had. So there's that. So, um, but I actually um, used to restrict myself very, 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 very much during the week. And then I would just binge eat on the weekends. Uh, drink a lot, eat a lot of nasty food. And by nasty food, I just mean salty, greasy food. And then on Monday, I'd freak out because I'd be up a few pounds, uh, six, seven pounds of water, you know, retention. And then I would freak out and just start all over again. So if you track macros and you know what your carbs, fat, and protein are, and it's just going to be Saturday night and you're going to go out with your friends. So during the day, figure out what you can eat. You really want to have some fat left over because, you know, um, you know you're going to eat something that's high in fat or a lot of carbs left over. So make sure you, you just eat less carbs and fat throughout the day so that, that evening you can have that. However, however, let's say you, honest to God, this past weekend just mowed your way through a large pizza, a bottle of wine, you ate half a cake. I mean, not a good choice, but this morning, should you now be feeling so guilty and living off of water and some celery for the next six days because you want to lose the bloat or because you feel guilty? Definitely not. You messed up. Move on. Make good choices today. Make good choices this week. Make good choices in general. 
but to focus on that one negative thing that you did, uh, that is not, um, punishing yourself is not the answer because then it's just going to be a vicious cycle because you're going to punish yourself all week or all month or, you know, whatever, three, six months actually wouldn't be that long. Um, but maybe, yeah, maybe a week or two weeks or three weeks, and then you're going to have restricted and felt so bad that then you're going to do something to earn a reward. And then it's just going to be down the rabbit hole again. Trust me. I lived that every single weekend, or at least, at least twice a month, you know? Um, so just before I recorded this video, I weighed myself and I am up half a pound and um, I know for a fact that <laughs> that half a pound is because I barely slept. I ate a lot of sodium and it is not fat. I did not gain a half a pound. That is, I just didn't. I will weigh myself probably tomorrow morning and I will be down the half pound. So, um, but a few years ago, even if I knew, even in, if in my head, I knew that that wasn't fat gain, it was irrelevant. I needed it off because I was so uncomfortable with myself, my body image, um, that I would just, you know, I, and it was normal. I mean, you know, um, the, the flip flopping up and down weight gain and loss or the, the number, you know, and, um, I keep track of my weight just so that I, you know, especially during prep to monitor, how I'm doing, but it is definitely not the only thing to go by. I assure you, I did not train this weekend. Um, I didn't gain weight. And there was a point in my life where I would overexercise. Oh, and that's another thing. So if you ate, if you hit your macros or you didn't hit your macros, starting this morning with three hours of cardio, along with your water fast, not healthy. Okay. Don't do that. So should you be hitting your macros? Yes, you should. If you mess up and don't hit your macros, should you be making yourself feel terrible? Nope, no, you should not. This is flexible dieting. This is something that you should be able to do every day for the rest of your life. Now, is that mildly contradictive? Contra contradictive? Contra whatever? Contra contradicting? What? Anyway, am I contradicting myself? Maybe. Um, but I could have hit my macros. I, I know that. But I, I chose to just not hit my protein. Um, loosely track my my macros um, that works for me that works for me this weekend because that is that is a choice that I consciously made I didn't go off the deep end I didn't you know I, I didn't just be like well screw it I'm just gonna eat these fries even though I know that I am hundreds of you know it, it wasn't hundreds of um, grams of carbs or fat over it was not like that I chose a free weekend and by free I mean I still stayed within uh, 20 grams of my carbs and I would say 10 of my fat. Um, you know, it is what it is. And because I didn't hit my protein, I was still probably under, no, not still. I probably, I was under my, my, uh, caloric goal, uh, on, um, Saturday. Wait. Yes. On Saturday. Sunday's another story. I ate a lot on the train. Um, but again, zero guilt because I am a human being. As a matter of fact, I almost didn't make this video because I don't want to encourage people not to follow their plan, not to listen to their coaches. It's not about that. It's about, for me, I'm actually proud of myself for the fact that I was able to go away and make decently responsible decisions. And I just said that I didn't make good decisions nutritionally, but my point is I didn't just say, well, screw it. Let me just eat this whole damn cake, all right? I still eat decent sized portions. I still stayed within a decent macro. I didn't just say, well, you know, I'm not hitting my macro, so I might as well just fucking eat 10,000 calories. No. Um, but there was a point that, yeah, I'm like, well, I'm just eating junk anyway. I might as well just go crazy. So flexible dieting has helped me so much and it can help you, but that means you have to let go of guilt associated with foods, no bad food, no good food. Of course, there are better choices nutritionally than others, but um, yeah, don't, don't put yourself down if you don't hit the numbers properly, because to me, that is just as bad as, um, you know, eating clean and then having a cookie and feeling crappy about it. it no, all right. Do what's good for you. What makes you feel good. Obviously, if you have a goal, if you're prepping for a show, if you, you know, are trying to lose weight, lose fat, it's better for you if you're hitting your macros. But if you don't hit your macros, life doesn't 
end. Okay. I actually saw a quote the other day and I don't know who it was by. I think it might've just been someone who posted on Twitter or something. And it was essentially saying, and I don't, now I don't even remember the quote. Actually, you know what? Let me just pull this up on my phone because I feel like it's important. Um, I saw it and I was like, wow, this is actually uh, really awesome. Okay, hold on. Sorry. This is not planned, as you can see. Um, okay, then. Screenshots. Ah. Gaining fat isn't the worst thing that will ever happen to you. But losing your entire life because you're worried about gaining fat will be. So I'm not saying just do whatever the hell you want, but I'm saying if you focus on messing up, it's just going to be a vicious cycle. Trust me, but figure out the root problem and, and work on improving that work on helping yourself. Um, and if you have questions about, um, eating healthy, about, veganism about how to break the cycle of binging and restricting feel free to contact me write me an email um, comment below if you're comfortable i am not an expert but i can just give you my own experiences and for a very long time i was that girl i you know <laughs> i just kind of just was lost and did whatever and i'd always be starting a new diet on monday or the beginning of the month or the beginning of the year and that's not me anymore and it doesn't have to be life doesn't end if you mess up I mean you know what I mean <laughs> anyway guys it's been a while so I should probably end this video um, I just hope that that helps and um, obviously if you did have a weekend where you went over um, and today you want to like have a really good gym session you know Maybe, I mean, if cardio is in your plan of cardio, I'm not doing any cardio, so <laughs> definitely not. Um, but, you know, if you want to have a good sweat, you know, an intense workout, drink lots of water today so you feel hydrated and make really good nutritionally sound choices, that's okay. That's, that's good. That's smart. But to go off the deep end in the opposite direction and now restrict is just, again, setting you up for failure. So don't do that. Anyway, guys, it has been fantastic for... I don't know where I was going with that. Um, it has been great talking to you. Yeah, let's go with that. And I will chat with you all again very, very soon. So, you know, leave me love below. I would really love to hear from you. Bye, everyone.